Well, this is wild to think about. Every day, without you even realizing it, your thoughts are sending quiet instructions to your biology. Not rewriting your DNA. That blueprint is steady. But the way your genes express, that part is surprisingly fluid and surprisingly sensitive to the world inside of you. This is epigenetics, the science of how life leaves fingerprints on your genome. Chemical marks that sit above the DNA, tightening some genes and loosening others, changing what your cells choose to amplify or silence. But here's the part that still gets me. Your emotional world plays a role in this. Chronic stress can nudge your body toward inflammation, toward survival mode, through pathways like NFKB that respond to that threat. But states like calm, connection, and internal gratitude shift your state in a different direction, softening stress signals and supporting healthier immune expression and lowering biological alarm bells. In study after study, people who practice gratitude showed reduced inflammatory activity. Not because gratitude is positive, but because the body recognizes it as safety. So when you pause to appreciate something, when you feel that warm, steady presence in your chest, you're not just having a moment. You're changing the tone of the message your mind sends to your cells. Your DNA is the story that you inherited but your epigenetics is the story that you continue to write with your attention, with your habits, with your inner weather. Gratitude isn't a mood, it's a signal, a way of telling your body, you can soften now, you can heal, you're safe.